So a lot of you have asked me what my hair looks like, like straightened and down. And since I've been wearing it up, like my curls right now are just non-existent. So I'm gonna go ahead and straighten it for y'all. I'm pretty sure I've worn it straight before in my videos, but I guess not like in this color. So okay, let's do this. why people with curly hair don't brush their hair and in case you guys don't know you're about to find out why After brushing, this is why you don't brush curly hair. Yeah, let's let's just forget this is what I look like sometimes. my hair straight it took me like two hours <laughs> to get here so this is why I don't wear it like this ever pretty much so enjoy it to talk about my first turtle ever so um, it was bad I bought my first turtle ever from the dollar store yeah <laughs> I don't remember the name of it but um, that particular store I don't know if it was owned by or just ran by this Asian guy so at the checkout this one time he had a bunch of those little turtle islands where baby turtles are commonly sold in, in pet stores he had like 20 of those just stacked up I saw them, I saw the baby turtles inside and I was just like blinded by their cuteness and I begged my mom <laughs> to get me one believe it or not the turtle was actually um, maybe about half the size of this one yeah half the size and I mean this one's pretty tiny well the other one was tinier and really really cute I was about 13 or 14 and at that exact moment I was just like oh my god it's so tiny it's probably gonna stay that tiny forever it's probably like this new breed of designer turtles that stay super tiny like like teacup chihuahuas and it's never gonna grow and it can live there forever and ever well, boy, was I wrong. 
I learned that the hard way and the turtle paid the ultimate price, unfortunately. So I didn't know any better. I was in middle school and yeah, I, this makes me sound bad, but the only thing in my mind were boys and drama and all that fun stuff, yay. <laughs> no. So I kept the turtle there in like maybe an inch of water and the dry area was just super tiny and I actually never saw it bask. Looking back at it now, it never basked and that's probably because of the temperature of my room at the time. My stepdad kept the AC really really cold. It was usually like around 60 degrees inside. Obviously that's way too cold for hatchlings to thrive in and to even digest their food properly. I remember it had a squishy shell, so it definitely had shell rot. It probably had never been exposed to any sort of UV lighting or sunlight at least. So I bought a sick turtle and didn't know it at the time and didn't do anything and didn't know to do anything. And I would feed it these really tiny pellets that came with the turtle when I bought it. So that went wrong. That turtle only lived like uh, maybe a month and a half and it died and I was heartbroken. I felt like I failed it. I brought something living and I didn't provide for it. I didn't even look up its basic needs and that was a life lesson learned the hard way unfortunately and I'm so sorry, baby turtle. I failed you. So learn from my mistake. Um, research any animal that you're interested in purchasing. Research, research, research before you have the animal. Not after, not during, before is best. Ironically, actually, right after that turtle passed away, I was gifted Tito. <laughs> So Tito came into my life uh, maybe a week afterwards and I still have him now. So maybe in another video I'll tell you guys the story of how I ended up with Tito and how I figured out with him how to properly care for turtles and how he got me into keeping fish. Ironically, my turtles actually are the ones that got me into the fish keeping hobby, into aquariums and just that's another story for another day. But every time I see baby turtles, I always think of that first turtle I owned and I feel terrible. But I guess it also kind of helps me be a better pet owner.
I came downtown to run some errands and while I was here I just like I don't know I felt like feeding the pigeons so that was fun and then I attracted like some kids and they came to me because of my hair and then I'm like you you guys want to feed some pigeons and they were like hell yeah and yeah we fed some pigeons and that was fun I met some new people so animals bring everyone closer together 